Hello everyone, welcome to Power Query Basic. Today I'm going to show you how to add conditional columns. Basically, this is what we are going to do with ifs formula or nested if when we are dealing with regular Excel. But in Power Query, we can do it without writing a single formula. So this is the situation. We are given a table like this. So we have only two columns, the one with column IDs and the sales of the stores. What we want to do is, based on the column ID, we know that from the previous of the column ID, we can identify the store type. And from the store type, we can identify the channel of the store. And based on the sales amount, we want to assign the grade to the store. So this is what we are going to do in this video by using conditional columns in Power Query Editor. And this is the final outcome we want to achieve. Let's watch how we can do it with Power Query. This is the table loaded into the Power Query Editor. So we want to add some columns. So we go to the tab Add Column. And conditional column is the one we want to talk about today. First step is to input the name of the new column, which will be store type. Okay, store type. Here we can select the column we want to apply the condition. So the column is store ID. If the store ID equal to something, then something, else something. This is the idea of the conditional column. We have a bunch of options not only equals, we have does not equals, begins with, ends with, etc, etc. In our example, we want to use begins with because we want to identify the prefix of the store ID. Perfect. So if store ID begins with F, then what it is? It is a freestanding, freestanding store. Another condition, if the store ID begins with S, then this is a shop in shop. Add one more condition. If store ID begins with O, then it is Onet. One more. If the store ID begins with P, then this is a pop-up store. Else, that means everything else then it will be other okay depends on your situation you may add more conditions here but right now i need only four conditions everything else will fall into the category of other before i click ok i want to show you something we can select the column here instead of entering a value even our output value here is yeah, because we can reference to another column instead of input a hard code value here. It depends on your situations. Now I'm going to click OK. Then I have the additional column with the condition based on the previous of store ID. If we look at the formula here, Power Query create this formula for us via the user interface. That is super user friendly. Okay, now, based on this new column just created, we can add another column. So go to the add column, conditional column. Now I'm going to add the channel. So if, wow, we can see that the newly created column store type is available here. So if store type equal to fee standing, then it is a full price channel. Add one condition, if the store type equals to shop in shop, it is also a full price. So if it is equal to outnet, then it is a bargain channel. One more condition, store type equal to pop up then this is also a bargain. Everything else, it will be other. 
Done. One more. I want to assign the grade of the store depends on the sales amount. So add column, conditional column. So this will be the grade if the sales amount. Okay, now pay attention to this operator because the column sales is a numeric column. Power Query offer a different set of operator. It is equals, greater than, less than, super great. So if it is equal, no, I don't want equal. I want less than or equal to 300. Then this is grade C. One more condition. If the sales is bigger than or greater or equal than, so greater than or equal to 700, and then this will be grade A. Everything else, that means everything in between will be grade B. As simple as that, it is almost done. Just some final touch up. I want to define the column type here. As a good practice, always define the column type. I mean the data type of the columns. So this will be test. And then I can rearrange the column by jack and job. As simple as that. Thank you.